Quote from a book on cost data mining. In this case, in-depth analysis of existing data in a sourcing category identifies any savings potential. This might include, for example, comparing the discount rates within a corporate group. Since publishing the book back in 2008, a lot has happened in this area. We could talk about data lakes, machine learning and big data. But in this video, we will focus on more mundane topics like job rotation that may lead to your company forgetting about savings of up to 1% that have already been negotiated with suppliers. Let's get started. In most big companies, buyers need to rotate every two or three years. This is driven by compliance requirements, and I'm not a big fan of these rules, especially when, when it comes to building technology competence in procurement. But this is a different topic. Here we are talking about how to ensure that agreements with suppliers are not forgotten. Generations of consultants have made a decent living of retrieving information lost when the responsibility for a commodity was handed over to a new buyer. And it doesn't even have to be job rotation. The bigger an organization becomes, the harder it is to ensure that everyone in the company knows what everyone in the company should know. Now you will ask which level of savings we are talking about. So in preparation for this video, I polled my colleagues. Responses came in between one and 2%. It is a bit hard to gauge because while people are happy to share their success stories, it is a bit harder to get them talk about things that didn't go well. Personally, I will settle at the savings potential of up to 1% in a typical industrial company. You can address the savings potential proactively with really good management systems and clear guidelines. Haven't seen that too often. Or you can fix it reactively after the fact with cost data mining. The idea behind it is simple. Somewhere in our system, we certainly have information that would allow us to achieve savings with suppliers. But for whatever reason, the person in charge of the commodity does not have access to this information. And with cost data mining, we locate this information, bring it to the attention of the responsible buyer, and ideally also ensure that information is actually used for achieving cost savings. So what we're looking for with cost data mining is any information on rebates, long-term agreements, payment terms, bonuses and discounts. And then we check to what extent these have been or have not been leveraged. We can find this information, contracts with suppliers in a specific terms and conditions and probably most important by legwork. Yes, a lot of the crucial information will be found in the systems of this legal entity or in other legal entities all over the world. But the most important source of information will be the buyers themselves. They will have nodes that are not yet uploaded to a central system. And the only way to systematically access this information is by talking to them. A little bit of encouragement from the top helps. And wrapping the whole effort in a cost reduction program with savings targets that are cascaded down the hierarchy may work wonders. So there you have it, C4 cost data mining, a purchasing chessboard method that increases awareness of all the savings potentials that have already been negotiated with suppliers and that are at risk of being entirely forgotten. Okay, I'm curious, what savings percentage do you estimate lies dormant somewhere in your organization? Let all of us know in the comments down below and should you have a question, I will get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.